Hello and welcome to Zulferak, which is one of my favourite classic dungeons. We'd be meeting again so soon. We do, though I've never met you. I suspect I needed to have quest and tug. Uh, okay, fine. He was just a DPS. We care not for him. Um, anyway, this is an outdoorsy dungeon, meaning you can mount, and it is also a troll city, I guess. It's where an entire troll tribe known as the Sand Fury live. Hello all. And for the heinous crime of not being Darkspear, we're going to kill him. And so I, I said hello. That mage basically did the equivalent of saying shut the fuck up and go. So, I'll shut the fuck up and go. First, I'll do all of my lovely things. So just cleaving. Throwing stuff at him. Hey! Ah, uh, at least Ellis was nice enough to talk to me. And Noreen. The mage, on the other hand, has no friends. Valeria, please make me some water. Valeria, I can guarantee you will not make you any water. Eh? Eh? No. No. No, he's just gonna pyroblast the mobs. That's all he can do. It's all that's within his power. So the lore behind this place, um, I don't think there is much really. I might be totally wrong and there's a, a rich, deep story, but as far as I know it's just trolls that aren't dark spear trolls are bad and so should die. Really? Ooh. Yeah, I'll go for that. But so will Faustine, so who will win it? No one knows, but yeah. So much of the world of Warcraft story is needlessly genocidal. If the real world thought the same way that WoW characters do, there would be no countries left by now, I can assure you of that. Grats, Forestin, I hope you are at least a Retribution Paladin and not like a Holy Paladin. I guess if you're a holy paladin, you'd be coming in healing spec, but pugs is pugs, you have to expect anything. I've had many, many a healer Q no, many a DPS Q as a tank or healer for the faster Q times, and then realized that, oh, wait, I'm not a healer or a tank, we now can't actually do the dungeon, so I'm willing to bet the reverse has at least happened once or twice. I am a healer, but I want to get a cushy DPS job. You can make bigger pulls. Okay. Let's go do it then, Ellis. With your blessing. Let's pull everything. Pull everything. Never stopping, never ending. Pull everything. All of these trolls are gonna die, 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 die. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to taunt him. And now, oh no, die! Beautiful. Uh, oh, I even got a victory rush for that. Yay, me! Let's keep on going. Let us make this an endless extravaganza of death. An endless extravaganza of death. Oh no, you don't. Bleed, 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 everybody got a blah, 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 da, da. I forgot how to use words for a second there, but that's just what happens when you are in a thrilling, never-ending slaughter fest of slaughter. Let's keep on going then, this pile is getting too small. Wee Let us never stop. Yes, you can, Gemma. You can do it whenever you want. Challenging shout! My new AoE taunt that I will make frequent use of, I'm sure. Uh, I like the way Ellis thinks, actually. That was a rather fun little death fest. Festival of Death. Let us continue it. No, it isn't, Jamash. Nothing is ever too far away. No, we cannot, Imp. The World of Warcraft law proves that. 
We must commit genocide against these trolls because they are mean and they are nasty and they vaguely threaten us from our big cushy goblin village halfway across the desert that is never under any attack from these guys whatsoever but they do stand around the outskirts looking menacing and so they should die. Now this music, this is retroactively added music to this particular dungeon because this music which has since become the iconic troll music was only added in the Burning Crusade raid Zul Aman. I think before this, um, this dungeon has sort of had generic Tenaris music, yes, if even Tenaris got its own music. Back in the day, WoW did not have, well it still had loads of music because it was a huge big expansive game but it has so much more now. Every little zone and every little sub-zone seems to have its own musical motif, whereas back in the day it was just ambient music. So you get things like music, music in Shadow Fang Keep being the same as the music in Molten Core, even though those two things look and feel nothing alike. One it was a haunted castle ruled by a wizard, whereas the other is an underground volcanic mountain of doom led by an elemental lord of fire. For those two things to have the same music is a bit odd, but that's how Blizzard rolled. Whereas these days, Shadowfang Keep has its own, more undeady sounding music. Anyway, that was me rambling on. Where are we going? Uh, we're going this way first. Actually, I think it's um, just a circle. It's a circle, so we'll, we'll end up going the right way. Either way. I can do bigger pool. 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 I can fight more things. And I should. You ready, Alice? There's not many people here, but we'll go pull them all anyway. Just, yeah. Damn it, my rend missed. Whoa, I have been turned into a frog. That is pretty problematic. But there we go. Everything's fine. I'm no longer a frog. I can do my job properly. Victory rush. Victory rush? Yes, hopefully. Good. Oh no! He went behind me! What a sneaky little sneak! I'd best get my revenge. Okay. Ellis was probably none too impressed with that pull because it was literally one mob, but... <sighs> I pulled the Witch Doctor and made him follow me. Bum bum bum. I pulled the Witch Doctor and... Yeah, he's gonna die. So we'll say ooh ee ooh ah ah, zing zang, a room full of scarabs. Now, is this, yes, Thekka the Martyr. He is not a boss, he's just a quest guy. So let's murder him! Let's murder him! Or he'll murder me! Because he's a meanie! Let's murder him. Actually, I don't know. I'm going to have to go all philosophical on this one, but who are the real meanies here? They stand around, occasionally poisoning the odd water supply. We come in and murder every last one of them with our bare hands, or rather, a couple of weapons. If you're a mage and you fling fireballs, does that count as murdering someone with your bare hands? Think about it now. It's a tricky one. Also, if you're a druid and you're in bear form, does that count as murdering someone with your bare hands? Oh, pun. Okay. Let's get rid of these noobers. Oh dear, come to me. Come on now. Excellent. Now the boss in here, he just summons basilisk adds every now and then. Other than that, there's, there's nothing to him. Lunch has arrived, my beautiful children. Tear them to pieces. Come on, Antusul. Let's pull him out so everyone can get a good crack at you. 
Devastate. Nope. No, no, no. Come to me. Thank you. Um, there you go. What's going on here? Stupid vines that bind me. Was Thekka the Martyr needed for anything? Yeah, he was. Good. Ooh! As was this guy. Excellent. That's not for me, sadly. Sadly, sadly. Oh yes, we can mount! Oh, the joys. The joys of an outdoor dungeon. Uh, oh yeah. See, I can do that and it will dissipate quickly because we're outdoors. Was there any reason to go in there with that group? I don't think there was. Which is fine by me. Valeria is having some doubts. Okay. Be wary of these graves because they contain zombies! And this guy, he's friendly, but he's not. So I, I don't... I've never understood... No, I've never understood why that is. But it's... Yeah. He's no friend of ours, just like every other troll in this place is no friend of ours. Isn't it shocking? I think... Yeah, he summons a few Zulfarek zombies, but they are weak like cake. And this, don't know what it is, but I'll get revenge on it. So he's dead. Oh, my. I should probably tank. Challenging shout on two zombies. Probably a waste of my challenging shout, but let it never be said that I don't do my part. But yes, if you stand on these graves or click on them on anything, they will become zombies, which as you can see there's a potential to be rather overwhelmed with mobs there. Ah, uh, the famous, people call it the pyramid, but it's clearly not a pyramid. Maybe it is a pyramid, I don't know, but people call it the pyramid. And this was one of Blizzard's very first early attempts to be cinematic with their dungeons. And I'll show you how in a minute, just as soon as I get some Gorham Rage. Pardon me, I sneezed. But it was a graceful sneeze. Not like back when I had a cold and my sneezes were just... Oh my. No, this was a sneeze I could be proud of. So now, now is where I could have saved Challenging Shout for, but alas. Oh! I have become a frog. Hopefully everyone else will do fine without me. Though if Valeria dies, I'm not going to cry too much. Because, damn it, I'm petty and I hold a grudge. But yeah, what happens when we get one meet? But when we get to the top of the pyramid, we start an event that causes hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of weak trolls to charge at us from the bottom. And it's supposed to simulate us like holding out against a great siege of trolls. And it's rather good. Though um, the power creep, the fact that our characters are now more powerful than they used to be in vanilla, because we have more skills, I think means we will probably kill most of them faster than the game can spawn them, so we will spend a lot of time standing around. But, damn it, it was one of Blizzard's early efforts. They clearly wanted to preserve it as it was, so respect them for that. Respect them! Always. Always. Respect them for the little Terragosa pet, which is just adorable. So adorable. And respect them for having mobs around for me to... Oh dear. Respect me for my stellar tanking. I'll keep you safe. Just as long as I'm paying attention at the time. Which I'm seldom not. I mean, which I'm often not. Which I seldom am. Oh, pronouns. They scare me so much. Let the executions begin. Oh yeah, who knows the voice acting of this game? I do. So, he is just a guy. And now he's gone, and we're going to free these nice people. We've got Revan, Sergeant Bly, Weedle Blast Fuse, Uro Eye Gouge, and Murta Grimgut. 
And once we have dealt with their problems, we are going to get Weedrill Blast for use to open that gate. And then we're going to betray these guys and kill them. Which, again, I ask the question, who are the real meanies here? So yeah, there you go. Big s seed. Of course, Blizzard is nice enough to let them come four or three at a time. They're not total bastards, although my god, he's going for it, isn't he? He's going for it. This is potentially quite a... Whoa, now. However... Right, challenging shout, everyone. Challenging shout. The healer is in trouble. Yes. Come on. I'm in trouble. Right, yes, so this is why the game no longer spawns them as fast. is because we can get away with pulling crazy shit like this. Oh, God. There's still more. How did I not see that? But, yeah. In the olden days, you were supposed to sort of wait up there and let them come to you in their little groups. Running down like that is not what was acceptable at the time. You would have wiped. Healers would not have the heals. Tanks would not have the tanks. DPSers would not have the DPS. But these days, we do because the game is only balanced for the highest level, obviously, because that's where the bulk of the content will be and where you will spend most of your time. But that means that at lower levels, we've ended up being a lot stronger than we should be. Which makes lower level P VP just fantastic. In I go. <laughs> Yeah, lower level PvP is just... It's like a match of Call of Duty. Press the button once and everyone is dead. Whereas high level PvP, you actually have to do rotations and things. It's crazy. So Shadow Priest says is and Necrogutchua, they are two bosses that proved to be not like a boss. We are the ones who are like a boss. And a random acolyte will pull a marauder shields on us. Although he's not protecting us from a terrible ending. Okay. Delivers a fatal wound for 184 damage. Oh yes, that will be very fatal. Fools. Ah, someone spoke to Weedrill. That's good because if you betray these guys before we send Weedrill off, then... then he won't blow up the door, obviously. So, yeah, we've now decided to uh, kick their asses. But it seems like everyone else has gone off without us, so this might not be quite the ass-kicking I'm hoping it will be. And Valeria seems to have gone offline, which is fantastic. No, even without a healer and two of the three DPS missing, this is still quite the ass kicking. Now, see, they, they, um, there used to be a quest that involved getting something from them, and maybe there still is, I don't know, but it doesn't. You don't get it at the start of the instance, so we are literally killing these guys for no reason. But that's just wow for you. You kill things for no reason. Oh, little scarab. Now let's go and kill people for a reason. Now this is technically, I think he counts as the final boss, though. Hopefully. Quest, you say? What quest? What are you talking about? Yeah. Sorry, Forest didn't just, uh... We will do that in a bit. Just don't leave after Sand Scout. So yeah, this guy counts as the last boss, even though really Gazrilla should. Blizzard are crazy. Oh my, where are all these snakes coming from? Why aren't I tanking? Come on, Jamie, tank! Press your buttons! 
You have buttons that can tank for you. Use them! My god! Woo! And this is why I'm a healer. All you do is click on health bars that are low. Okay. Hazuzel! The DSRP mine too. So. Again with the rend missing. Parry per fucking hell. Stop parrying things. Orange mobs, I tell you. They are just the pits. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't really do anything at all. Alrighty, tighty, jerryity. So we have big bad pauldrons, which, uh, let's see. For nine. Not actually completely necessary. Yeah, the pauldrons I currently have are rather good at tanking. So if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. I get them! I'll make the decision over whether or not to slip them on later. So now it's time for what should really be the proper last boss, because it's always the last thing people do in this dungeon every single time I've ever run it in all my years, ever. Now, we took left face. Bless him, he has been going through the whole dungeon on his own. But he must have one hell of a dodge rating or something, because he's made it pretty far. Um, so we're just going to kill everything. Kill everything in this room. Then we're going to ring the gong, which will cause Gazrilla to spawn. And my god, that used to be such a horrible, horrible thing. These days, you can just ring the gong and summon the boss. Back in the olden days, you needed the Mallet of Zulfarak. And in order to get the Mallet of Zulfarak, you had to do an absolutely huge quest chain that took you from Feralis to the Hinterlands and then to here. No, no, actually, no! Feralis! Feralis, the Hinterlands, and I think. I think Sunken Temple was involved at some point, and that's a dungeon that comes after this one. It was just crazy. I could be wrong, though. I could be mistaking it, but I'm pretty sure that... Yeah. And this is a woman who we need the Tower of the Deep from. That's all good, but yeah. Either way, getting that mallet was a pain. Thank God they got rid of that. Because you'd always get it where people would... People would join Zulfarak. Which, back in the old days, you had to poke it manually because there was no button. But they'd join Zulfarak, they'd be like, Yeah, let's do Gazrilla! I've got the quest to kill Gazrilla! Then we'd get here and someone would go, Right! Does anyone have the mallet of Zulfarak? And nobody ever would. Nobody ever would. Ever. So, Blizzard... Thank you for getting rid of just the unnecessarily wonky, awkward quest chains. Quest chains with a lovely storyline that you still got going on are lovely and I love to play them. But quest chains that involve travelling halfway across the universe just to get something so that you can actually do a dungeon properly... Well, I will not miss those. Come here, little troll. So I'm getting my revenge on life. Everything is going swimmingly. Good. It's pretty safe to summon Gazrilla now, I'd say, so let us... Gazrilla! He is a big, big, big Hydra. Yeah. There was briefly a level 80 heroic version of him before Cataclysm came out. I think it was called Kaiju Gazrilla or something. Um, but yeah, one of the pre-Cataclysm things they did was that 
some of the old dungeons had stuff going on in them that was bringing about the cataclysm, and this was one of them. And he actually had some cool abilities there as well. He wasn't a hard boss, but he was a, a fun one. So it's a shame that they got rid of them, because they'd be fun to stuff around with. Um, and I wonder if they'll do anything similar when Panda starts coming out. Because it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoy most things that Blizzard do. I'm easy to please. Oh yes, of course, teleport out and in. I always forget I can do that. So thank you for watching... Zulfarak. It was one of my favourite dungeons back when Classic was all there was. Well, Classic and Burning Crusade, because I joined during Burning Crusade. Uh, I still like it very much, but Blizzard have since supplied far more awesome. Which you'll start seeing. Some of the dungeons at high level, I think, are just lovely. And I'm very much looking forward to the panda ones. My god, they look just wonderful. Anyway, I'll say thank you to these people. Thanks for the run. I will slip those boots on, wherever they are. Boots! Boots! Now, I'll say thank you to you guys again. I hope you enjoyed it. What do we have next? Oh, oh so God, I never plan my sign-offs. Um, I'm just checking to see. Okay, the pauldrons, again. Probably not that big a deal. So I'll get the most expensive thing, because that's how crazy I am. Um, what have I got coming up next for you fine people? Stratholm! The other part of it. You'll see me do that at level 48, and it will be glorious. So, thank you for watching, and as always, Victory or death. I'll see you later.